we have to talk about a little bit of nonsense that happened on the internet, don't we? Oh my god! Listen, many of you already know... <laughs> many of you already know I got involved in a little bit of drama, okay, on the internet, and it may have literally resulted in a shitstorm on Twitter... Uh, which actually rivals pretty much any other one I've ever been involved in. Hey, hey, HK, thank you very, very much for the incredibly generous 10 pounds. Thank you very, very much. Um, I, I did do a little bit of discoursing. Yeah, I did. And this time, it was worth it. See, see, you have to know the code and master it in order to be able to break it. It's not a dogma. There's a time and a place. I did do a little, just a little bit of discourse, but I feel like it was for a very, very good reason. And in fact, an ally from a, from beyond our community came to have my back, which was cool. Thank you, Vosh, for, uh, thank you to the, the Voshites and the Vimps for backing me up on this one. Uh, yeah, so for those of you who don't know, we'll just do a little bit of, let's do a little bit of drama, uh, drama, puff, you know, popcorn for you all to enjoy. At the very beginning, we're not making anything huge out of this. I just want to go over my thread and um, and what I was arguing and why I was arguing it. Um, so I'll just go through my comments and, and we'll read them real quick. And then we'll talk about what happened and why I got so pissed off about it and why I was willing to, you know, weigh in on discourse. And it, it, it's going to become fairly obvious why I got involved because, you know, I'm really gay and really trans and everybody knows that. And so, you know, that's how I do. But let's just, let's just start with this. Okay. So hold on. Oh, they've all been deleted. How unfortunate. The good news, oops. The good news is if I'm not mistaken, I have an archive of the entire thread, which is nice. Hold on, let me just search my history real quick. See if I can't find it. Hold on, let's see. Here. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Bum, ba, da, 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 da. Dun, da, 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 da. Hold on. Ah, oh. Oh, oh no, it didn't. Yes, we actually, I believe we did vermin hands. Everything has been nuked. Damn it, I knew I should have gotten screenshots, but I actually just did a little thread unroll. Okay, everybody, ah, oh, God damn it. You wanna just, we could just, I guess we could just watch the segment. God damn it. The one time, the one fucking time I don't take screenshots, it comes back to bite me. So, what happened? Well, everybody, uh, in short, there was an enormous discourse started by a YouTuber many of us know uh, by the name of Shoe on Head, which was discussing the apparently inappropriate and dangerous um, a, a, a drag show that happened in Dallas, Texas. Now, uh, let me tell you something. First off, the drag show, which we now have video footage from the inside of, was literally the tamest thing you could possibly imagine. It was literally fully clothed drag queens who were just walking up and down a catwalk with some music playing and there were there was an all it was a family audience there was no nudity there was no sexual dancing i saw one performer do a split um and of course uh but 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 you see there was a very big problem which is that on the back of this location was a sign okay and i'm going to show you what this sign looked like okay By the way, like the stream if you're here, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We need the likes. I don't can't remember if I did that already, okay? I'm gonna show you this image, okay? 
Hold on, just a second. And I might actually even be able to find the original post if I'm lucky. If anybody has a screenshot of the original post, uh, I would love to. But but take a look at this. Here we go. This is the sign. Approx actually, this is about the sign that was on the background. Here, I'm going to show it to you. This was the sign that we're talking about, okay? This sign was on the back of the uh, uh, location that this um, drag show was at, right? So people were freaking out because they're like, that is, oh, they're sexualizing children. This is a ch child rape ring is basically what they were saying. They basically just freaked freak the fuck out. And of course, Shu on Head didn't explicitly say there was child rape going on. However, she did say, I'm tired of being gaslighted that something like this is okay. With a picture of a very tame drag show with this neon sign in the background. Now, as it turns out, the location of this drag show was at an ice cream parlor. Or rather, I should say, a place that sells ice cream from a brand that literally mass produces and sells the it's not gonna lick itself ice cream neon sign. So while it is a bit of an innuendo, that sign belonged to the ice cream company whose ice cream was served at the venue, at a venue that was designed, it was like, it was a venue that was being used for a family friendly show. So, On a surface, it's like, well, okay, so that's a little, that, that seems a little weird, right? Why would you spread that misinformation? Well, of course it went a lot worse than that, including accusing the LGBT community of Trojan horsing pedophiles um, into the mainstream, which I think is absolutely ridiculous and is borderline Nazi rhetoric, uh, which was put forward by Shoe on Head. And on top of all of that, by the way, um, on top of all of that, there was some IRL occurrences that happened that, uh, that make the context of shitting on a random drag show based on literal fake news. Um, it makes it, it makes it even worse. So real quick, I, and I apologize in advance, a uh, giant trigger warning real quick. I know y'all are pretty, yeah, pretty strong about this. Um, oh, maybe she just nuked all the engagements. Here's the main thread. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. Here, we can look at the main thread. Here's the main, here's the original thread. I don't like being gaslit about how totally not weird this is. Drag the kids to pride. A 150 follower event. Or, sorry, a, an event made by a 150 follower account. This tiny venue where a lady is just dancing. And there's literally windows outside. You can literally see these windows over here. You're making a thread with the thread. Excellent. Thank you. I appreciate that. I will take a look right now. Appreciate that a lot. Yeah! Hell yeah, Gayfesh! Yes! Now we can have the whole thing! Gayfesh comes in! Fuck yeah! Here we go. So it started with this. Freems, a small, medium-sized uh, Twitch streamer, said, Don't take your kids to drag shows as a joke. Right? And then... And then Shu said, Yeah, I agree. That's also pretty weird. Your turn. And then I responded, very simply, Hooters has over 400 locations operating daily, and yet you never post about them. Always find time every single pride to spread vague, contextless, sometimes outright propaganda images, demonizing drag, usually following up by calling actual queer people pedos without evidence. And then I put some thinking emojis here, as you can see. And then Shu responded by saying, I'd probably talk about it more if it was a mainstream topic constant uh, if it wasn't a mainstream or if it was a mainstream topic constantly on my timeline in the news 
when Hooters starts pretending it's super progressive and we get called reactionary for understandably thinking it's weird. Ah, okay. This is me, I say. Ah, okay, I get it. It happens all the time, but you don't care because that type of quote-unquote child abuse isn't quote-unquote trending. No one's shoving anything in your face, which is why you have to dredge up random shit from years bygone or from 50 follower Facebook pages. My bad, I misremembered. It was actually 150 Facebook followers. I'm sorry for my leftist misinformation there. Oh yes, I know, Saxy Jacks. We're gonna get to that. The concept of talking about current events shouldn't be foreign to a political streamer. This is such a weird hill to pass away on. Good luck with this. And then I said, you spreading propaganda and misleading your audience of kids on YouTube is not current events. Love how vague and euphemistic you have to be. Let's be blunt. Every pride you go out of your way to demonize usually drag, usually with blatant disinfo. You do not have to, but you do. And then we have this one. Well, because y'all can't help but act like dodo birds defending the most bizarre shit that any normal person would be weirded out every single June. Literally, what misinfo are you even talking about with this? I want to see you defend this. Hey, so why did you leave out this screenshot this time? The one revealing the host of this event has a whopping 150 followers. I've seen no one defend it. I've seen them disagree with your framing and your claims, and then you and your fans call them pedos. Now, it is interesting that she leaves that. This is These are the same photos on her original post, which we can see right here. Same fucking photos, but she left out the one with the numbers. Little odd there, huh? I did include that sh screenshot in the tweet I made yesterday, but how is this even a defense? Why can't you just agree it's weird and inappropriate? What's stopping you? And then I said, you're the one pivoting here. Uh, I was I was asking what's, what's stopping you from being honest, from spending time pedo hunting the Southern Baptist Church or the Catholic Church, who have a whole lot more victims and more followers than some weirdo's rural drag show with a gross neon light. Thank you very much, Lotta Apples. Deeply appreciate that. Because only one of these things is passed off as good and cool and progressive and defended by people I otherwise agree with. No one even knew this existed until you falsely conflated it with pride in general. Your messaging is dishonest. This is me talking to Shu. If you thought this 150 person event was bad, contact the venue. Go visit the event and do journalism or something. But no. Uh, and then Shu says, go visit the event and do journalism or something. You can say this about anything. Again, I don't know why people want to jump onto this sword. How much longer are you going to not call things out on fear of giving the other side ammo? You even just defended Prostasia. I'm saying literally anything other than what, and then I say, I'm literally saying anything other than what you do would be good. You screen capping some 150 follower event, implying there is pedophilia going on because of a gross neon sign, and then conflating it with all of pride is grossly irresponsible. And of course, this resulted in uh, a lot of people jumping on board. This exchange, of course, is rather heated, and a lot of people jumped on board. But honestly, all of that is 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 not all that important. Although I will give out a special a special little little thank you for the thank you for the backup. Do appreciate it. Credit where credit is due. Uh, specifically to uh, to Vosh here, who who popped in to say. And let me read to you. Shu, we're all public figures here. Even if you disagree with Demon Mama on this particular issue, accusing people of using their platform irresponsibly is totally valid. You do this all the time, even if you don't use that exact language. And then he said, I just don't like that it that the, well, it's my platform and I can do whatever I want attitude. It's just a way to escape accountability. Oh, oh, you po posted the whole thing. Oh my God, sorry. I didn't know you got the whole uncensored one. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Appreciate that a lot. Gayfesh, thank you. There we go. There we go. Irresponsible. Sorry, Mom, but I'm 30 years old. I can talk about whatever I want on my own platform. Now, some of you may know. Some of you may know that I that that that, that was it. That was a that was my uh, that was my favorite thing that she said the entire time. Um, and I retweeted, I quote retweeted that saying, you can talk about whatever you want on your platform, but that doesn't stop others from pointing out when you're being verifiably dishonest or spreading propaganda during Pride. Listen to Mama, spend more time pedo hunting your fellow Catholics and less time lying about queers. 
this was when Vosh came in. Shu were all public figures here. And then Shu said, Demon Mama also thought it was irresponsible of me to go after Prostasia. I really don't care about what she thinks, to be honest. Mwah. So then Vosh says, well, I don't like the, the well, it's my platform. I can do what I want attitude. It's just a way to escape accountability. You're free to take whatever positions you like, but if others feel you're doing harm, I feel they have every right to accuse you of irresponsibility. Then Shu says, I just feel like I'm going insane. And then Vosh says, very reasonably in my opinion, why? This death spiral happens all the time. You have an objection, but phrase it combatively because you know that the leftists will object, that the conservatives will approve, then the leftists see conservatives' approval and object harder, so then you push back even harder. I get where you're coming from, and I know you think lefties act weird about pride sometimes, but in this, but this, but the stakes are very high right now, and I'm worried about fairly inconsequential pockets of weirdness being blown up into a justifying mechanism for serious harm. I guarantee you, 90% of the disagreements you've been having wouldn't be happening if someone was, if everyone was exclusively addressing explicit arguments. But when implicit arguments are weaponized against queer people, they tend to get a bit tetchy. I can't blame queer people for this. And then Shu says, but how can otherwise smart, normal people who I agree with on most things look at that and think it's fine or think I'm being a reactionary? I don't get it. And it makes me sad, to be honest. And then, then Vosh re replies, I would invite you to speak with me on stream, but I know that's probably not going to happen. Still, if you have the time, please tune into the beginning of it. I'll go over my thoughts. It's not an epic own uh, thing against you, I swear to God. Now, all of that is pretty simple, okay? That's pretty straightforward. Vosh did a, a is in my opinion, a, a, a good segment um, talking about why this stuff is dishonest and why uh, he thinks that there's a really big risk in, in making a huge deal about weirdness. And I, I really appreciate that. But I want to show you guys part of the reason, a very visceral, by the way, a very visceral opportunity to see the reason why I, me, Demon Mama, and the Demon Mama community and many others push back against this type of rhetoric. And I'm going to show you, first of all, a screenshot of Tucker Carlson. Look at that. Wow. It worked its way all the way up all the way through the right wing pipeline, all the way up to Tucker Carlson. So now we have Tucker Carlson blowing up a completely innocuous event based off of propaganda that was initially spread by people like Shoe on Head and other weird anonymous channers, but predominantly large accounts like Shoe on Head. But it gets worse, okay? Because I'm gonna show you some footage from a drag event uh, that was in the same city, okay? Let's just, uh, and, and again, this is the moment where I say huge trigger warning to what's gonna be said here, because what we're gonna hear in here is, well, quite a lot of horrible shit. Now keep in mind that this is, this is at a very, I don't know if this is at the same event. Is it the same venue? Okay, it's the same, literal same venue that all of this freak out was happening. And I'm gonna, I want you to just pay attention to what this resulted in. What posts like shoe on heads, what irresponsible fear mongering like the, the type engaged in by shoe on head leads to. Ready? Okay, trigger warning everybody. Here we go. You guys are disgusting. So, first of all, let's take note, right here is none other than John Doyle! Everybody, remember John Doyle? That's him! That's, that's him right there! Gruber! 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 You guys are wow. disgusting! Repent! Repent for your sins! Gruber! Gruber! So that's a crowd of people screaming, groomers, 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 you people are disgusting, repent for your sin. Oh, but that's not the end of it, by the way. Not even close. Not even close. Let's take a listen here. This is John Doyle speaking himself. Listen to this. Now, it's hard to make out here, but I want you to listen very closely. Let's get that, let's get that transcript. Go in there and put bullets in all of their heads. 
That's what the badge is for, he said, addressing the Texas fucking police. And there's a whole lot more in this thread. We can go in here, we can listen to all of this. Look how inclusive they are here. You can't even go to a gay bar. You guys are thinking. Alex, move on. You weirdo. They won't let us in. Alex Stein, move on, you weirdo. Alex, move on. Alex, Alex, get away from the door. Alex, stop. Screaming about how they're grooming children in here. They're grooming children. Just lying. Just openly lying and filming this and putting this up on the video. Accusing people of literally harming children. Get out of the way. Thank you, Cheeto. Leave the kids alone. Leave the kids alone. Leave the kids alone. So there's a ch there's a family that's attempting to leave, and and these uh these people alongside Andy Neo are chasing the family, and two uh masked activists get in the way. Let's keep watching. Let's find out. I be ashamed to be your child. That is disgusting. It is illegal, not be illegal. What do you want? Where you going? Why are you all just ashamed? Why are you hiding from the crowd? Why would you do that? Chill out, 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 chill out. Hey! No, you, no, you can't walk through people. You cannot walk through people. Hey! Let me see if I can get this other one. Oh, here we go. He says, there's a pet, you should know, there's a pedophile show going on in there. You're That's what he's telling people outside the event. As long as you're aware, I'm you don't want to pay your money to come down. No one cares. Go back to the side of the street. No one cares. No one cares. Go back to your side. No one cares. No one cares. Go. I can't I can't make it out in there but this guy according to this transcript says that he doesn't trust the woman cop because she's a lesbian there's another clip here that I had saved I wanted to show you all let me see if I can find it real quick it's one it's one of the ones by John Doyle uh, where John Doyle was sort of uh, uh, pontificating Oh yeah, right here. Here we go. Take a look at this one. This is the transcript. Is it's going to be so fun when we take away all of your rights, all of them. Let's take a look. This guy over here. Hold on. This guy over here says you can listen to it. Watch him. You can watch his lips. Watch. Take away all your rights. It's gonna be so much fun to take away all your rights. Every single, every single one of them. Big blue. 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 Yeah. So, I think you guys might understand why I have such a huge problem with uh with social media uh uh personalities spreading unbelievably aggressive uh, misinformation and fear-mongering about trans people. Hey, Rapti, good to see you. Yeah, um, isn't it, and, and by the way, like I said, same venue. This is what this happens. Um, these guys can't always find this shit as easily as when they have small YouTubers that they can pick up little hints and tips from. When somebody makes something go viral, that shit reaches the most foul corners of the web. They use that as a targeting system. They use the the plausible deniability of, of, of this type of fear mongering, this type of concern trolling that we've seen now two prides in a row, at least, from people like Shoe on Head.
Has Mama responded to Vosh's claim of a trans genocide happening in America? Yes, I've agreed with that position for a long time. Um, I think that uh, we have existed in, in like a middle stage genocide towards trans people um, for some time, but it's getting particularly worse, especially with this ridiculous demonization. This, this sort of thing, um, crowds of, of YouTubers standing outside of completely innocuous events, screaming in, um, we're going to take your rights away, you're a groomer, like that type of shit. All of that is 100% par for the course for Nazi fucking Germany. That's the literal type of shit that these things ride on. You have to popularize and, and for, for their position to win what they want. They have to popularize this type of rhetoric. And they are. I just wanted to open up talking about the drama that I was embroiled in over the last couple of days and explaining my position on it, which is this what we just watched. This a uh, group of fascists standing literal literal actual fascists standing out in front of a tiny venue with a bunch of kids and screaming in groomers groomers we're gonna take your right away the cops should kill you that right there that is what the rise of fascism in america is looking like and i mean to be fair these are some pretty uh, pathetic specimens of the master race but that's always true what they're going to rely on is people looking the other way they're going to rely on people just following orders they're going to rely on people oh i was just asking questions they always use the um the uh, uh the, the sort of uh passiveness of the general populace to their advantage especially when they can convince the general populace that there's something weird going on. You see what I mean? Because if they can convince you that maybe, just maybe, there's a small chance that every gay bar is secretly a temple to Moloch where they're murdering children on a daily basis and they're drinking the blood of calves and they're drinking the blood of babies and they're, and it's like, you know, every single gay bar ha secretly has a tunnel that goes towards the nearest uh, the nearest um, Planned Parenthood where you can secretly deliver like adrenochrome and shit from underneath the the, uh, the um, Planned Parenthood all the way to the gay bar. That If they can just make it a slight possibility, that's all they need. Yeah, we know John Doyle was there. Yeah, John Doyle is 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 a is a is a fucking crazy motherfucker. We all know this. We know that John Doyle is like the most repressed gay guy that you could possibly imagine. Yeah, absolutely, Rhodes. At some point. So yeah, this is the result of this is the result of fucking around on the internet and making up disinfo during Pride Month because you think that uh, you think that there's an icky sign and uh, in the background of a drag show and you believe that that actually should be uh, that, that 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 that's evidence that you, the rest of your crazy moral panic is true. How many times, my lovely viewers? How many fucking times in the last two years have I talked about? How, how these moral panics function. How many fucking times have I sat here and outlined exactly how this shit operates and we see it happening yet again? Yeah, so don't play nice with it. Uh, don't play nice with it. Don't, don't let people get away with this shit. Uh, call them out on it and challenge it at every, at every, uh, at every corner that you can. Cheeto says, I agree about Shu's tweet being incredibly shitty, but have you seen what libs of TikTok has been posting lately? All month it's been a non-stop cascade of fear-mongering about kids at Pride shit. It feels weird to focus our anger entirely on Shu when libs of TikTok has exponentially much bigger reach. I agree with you, but but there's a difference, which is that libs of TikTok doesn't operate in, in, a, in like even close to a similar social space as me. I don't see libs of TikTok replying to people that I know and people that I consider colleagues, which is what happens with Shu. It, it's just true. And also, Shu is, is literally was the precursor to libs of TikTok. Shu, Shu and Sargon and these people, they built the format that libs of TikTok uses. The, the format of like going, ha ha, look at these 
SJW feminist blue haired freaks like pointing at like Trigley Puff or whatever and then saying that that is like and then saying oh yeah look look at how fucked up it is that's like that was like that format was like popularized by shoe on head so like I get where you're coming from and I agree with you but I already did a video on libs of tiktok all I'm doing right now is just summarizing the drama I had I don't think anybody's fucking focusing on shoe or anything like that Also, I find it really funny of all of the people. Does anybody have that? Oh, God. Do I have? I think I literally saved it. Hold on. I think I literally saved it. Hold on. My, my fucking favorite. My absolute fucking favorite. Okay. Hold on. Let me see. Yes. Thank God I have it right here. I got it. I got it. Give me a second. Hold on. I just got to send it to myself. Hold on. I have to send it to myself on Discord so I can share it with you. Okay. This is the, this is the, this is the fucking killer right here. Okay. This is the fucking kill shot. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Hold on. Give me it. All of this, all of this stuff, all of this fear mongering about harming the children and that that an that a a innuendo neon sign uh is uh innuendo neon sign is a sign of a secret agenda. Just remember just remember how many children watch Shoe on Head's videos, how many children probably follow Shoe on Head on Twitter. After all, Shoe on Head is not an 18 plus account, nor is Shoe's show an 18 plus show. And yet, what do we have here but Shoe posting a photo from her POV of, of being on a leash with her ex in a 24-7 BDSM relationship. What is this? Posting kink on main? Literally, this photo was most likely statistically seen by more people than have ever, ever seen kink at a pride event. And yet, here we are. All I can say is... That's it. That's all there is to say. It's just a little sussy is all, okay? I am tired of acting like this is normal! I am- I am outraged! There are these girls on the internet posting images of themselves with pink leashes being held by their daddy Tom! Posting about worshipping his dick 24-7! It's horrible! Oh, I know. Look, I had to save that tweet in my forever folder because it, I knew I remembered it. I knew I remembered the tweet, but I couldn't find it. She can't keep getting away with it. Except that's the funny thing. She doesn't get away with it. That's the funny thing. Notice that like uh, the, 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 the rising tide of fascism suppresses everyone. Shu should be able to post on main about the daddy dom relationship with her ex or whatever. Shu should be able to do that. But because of the rising tide of fucking uh, weird puritanical American Christo fascism, nobody can have a good time in the world. Okay? Yes, that was armored skeptic in the picture. Yes, it was. Wow, that sounds interesting, Rapti. You should please send that to me. I've seen it a few times, Prosy Rosie. No, 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 no. That was from the past. That was from the past. They're not together as far as I know. Anyway, I just thought it would be funny for us to take a few minutes to just, you know, be let's 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 let's, let's be a little real, okay? Because if there's anybody who should be feeling gaslit right about now, it's the fucking LGBT community of the world, but specifically the LGBT Twitter community, who is basically perpetually put into the unbelievable, uh, the unbelievable position of having to be told that simultaneously they are a evil presence corrupting the entire universe and that they are, uh, that they are 
pronouns in bio fragile snowflakes simultaneously we are the evil uh the evil empire turning children into queers from with ice cream neon signs um and also simultaneously triggered snowflakes on the internet so which one is it hippie punk says when do we get to take the gloves off with shoe can we just go hog uh, uh, shred her every time she does this well yeah yes please everybody should you should challenge Shu on that shit when she does that of course you should of course but that doesn't mean that like i don't know i don't know what gloves anybody is talking about i tend to handle most of my um most of my call outs of other people in the same way guys what the hell's going on today do you guys forget who i am do you guys forget that i took like a fucking three thousand sub hit just because I disagreed with other with other large streamers? Do you guys forget who the fuck I am? Ugh. Is it reasonable to want our spaces to be safe from people like Shu and her BF? Yes, of course it is. Obviously, people should be not stupid and not assholes and not freaks about it. But I completely understand why people don't trust Shu. Again, Shu just started a discourse that has trickled its way up to to Tucker Carlson. It started a discourse that is going hand in hand. Her rhetoric is hand in hand with the people who went outside of that venue and shouted horrific obscenities at families that were in that were t saying the cops should go in and kill those people. Personally, I just wish she would stop doing that because I don't know like in my personal engagements My personal interactions with shoe on head have been just fine uh, And as you know, I'm not the type of person who just fucking uh, Holds a grudge for no reason, but this shit is really making me tired. So yeah, anyway Whatever Ah <sighs>